Art is a crime, then just oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. Just me, Betty. Delson. Would you put the stapler down? Seriously. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the big to-do at the longhouse? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight, but you look amazing. It looks great on you. Seriously. What were you doing up on the roof? Hmm? Nothing. Just... Were you up to mischief? Come on, I know you're in there. So just come on out. Or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the keys. You were up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I can't believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, Freedom! 
And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Wait! Ah, gold crap. that guy. Shoo, shoo! Shoo, get out of here! That was close. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. And the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying and to cause... assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do talking this, about? Reggie? Why no, don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna say us from. To really? You. Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. How's the military do? Uh, holy shit, Ooh. dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, man. you all right? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fresh. I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Rich? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What the hell is going on? Oh my 
my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! What is going on? Reggie! Right? You okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Yeah. Okay. Okay, just... Just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, oh, no, no! Oh, shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. We get out there. There is a bio so We gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Hey. Hey. Just. I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... <laughs> Vince. Good to know. Not good! Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty. You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help Don't you, stay lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Ah! Delson. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Ah. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later. But you gotta get out of here now. Good. I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something, or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. 
a golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life! And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! This ain't something that can be fixed! Then... At least show me how to control it! Ain't got time! DUP's coming! And she knows I'm on to her plan. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. <laughs> That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy. I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. In there. And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened to no, there. No, Betty, don't. So. Really? Still nothing. Well. Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? 
Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I have no further use for you. Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you, Betty? Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Stop her. Oh my god. Betty. Dawson, dear. You're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah. Don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not. One of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. Hmm. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. It's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill. I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. You see? the legs it's a thing more than that oh, glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing uh, speaking of which uh, the craziness with the hands is that gone yeah, I don't know man there's no smoking in the longhouse remember <laughs> right and I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery recovery hey 
Delson, these these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this, and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only- The only way it's kidding out is with the same power, I get it. Which means, we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's oh, my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech conduit power buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Del, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely- Are you kidding me? This is amazing! <laughs> this is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a post-apocalyptic vague. Oh, this must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, 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 no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. This is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? 
there. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not. Please. All right. Fine. We both go. Come oh on. no 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 no! You I go need... play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything. <sighs> I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Okay, yeah, that could definitely be habit forming. Yeah, they're kind of cute. Now it's time to kill them. Wait, who's still using that? Oh, maybe I just need to refill the smoke tank. Good to go. Yeah, this should do the trick. Ooh, man, once we hit this city, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for more of those things. Hey, Delson, I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get up I here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that's stuck. I'm trying to convince them to just abandon the bus. I don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Delson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. This is gonna take forever. There's gotta be a faster way. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Rich. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Delson, I'm not- Ah, lost you. Must have hit the mute button. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. Delson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what am I, like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. tracking on your phone in case we get separated oh you mean like right now attention the scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge by order of the DUP will begin shortly all vehicles and individuals are ordered to huh, that sounds like useful information Nelson I got the aid workers across the DUP clearing the bridge coming back for you so are you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey! Hey! You guys need any help? Oh shit. A 
Pile terrors. Hey, hey, it's one of those it's freaks. It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Hey, hey, look, man, I just wanna get through the tunnel. Give up, okay? Just don't hurt me. See? We're not all monsters. Spread the word. Attention. The scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge by order of the DUP will begin immediately. There will be no Oh, this is really stuck. <laughs> What the hell just happened? <coughs> Reggie? Oh man, answer me! Oh my god. This was a bridge? Reg. Come on, core relay, work your magic. Another shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. <laughs> okay, take it easy. Not a good time, Betty. Okay. You just be careful. And have fun. Okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> Hold still. Oh, my God. I'm almost across. Good. Cut it out. Devil Bridge? Nelson, a little help here. Yes. 
Set up pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Take it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So... Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I can did. take these look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? Look, these DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you... that natural bioterrorists have. But the government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up to... Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Once we're through, I'll check with a couple of my cop buddies and try and get access to the police databases. In the meantime, I need you to just lay low. I might spook him if I show up with a bioterrorist. Okay, boss man. This is a registered firearm. I'm a police officer. Hey, won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends.
Nelson, we got separated. Are you okay? Me? I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got some. I come in peace. Return to your homes immediately, or we will open fire. Hey, what the hell, man? You're supposed to be protecting them from me. Gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. They're not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movement. Mobile command center, got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication here on top. All right, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. If you blow out enough of those, the core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels. Got it. These guys are obsessed with me. Find the main power core? It should be on top.
must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. you big fella. Oh, crap. Well, did it work? Uh, no time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No. Forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg. You're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow. I'm sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. <laughs> hey, Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skills. This is going to be awesome. Look out below! Not <laughs> bad, huh? Hey, you want to see it again?
Jesus, man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make him underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit him. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to him, so maybe they'll just give up? Why? Spoil the surprise when it happened? <laughs> Reg, they got checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Okay, so that way is not an option. This better work. It freaking worked! I tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, hotshot? I mean, she just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, you remember? Right, so you're thinking one more's not gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Raj, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted, no ferries going in or out, or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. This is not gonna be easy, is it? Yeah, it's too bad I didn't think to mention that to you over and over during the last ten hours. You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why would people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, uh, that can't be it. Good about this one. That's you know, secondhand smoke is bad for you. Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, any more? No, man, that's all you get. I mean, this bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You Find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Okay, Reg, I'm here and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. Gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. <laughs> hey, Reg. Hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank? And not others, like one of these dupe troopers. Oh 
my god, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. The dupes had those things locked down. Well, I suppose that hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime conduit, like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. And the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on. Even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going. Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Man, this stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Hey there. It's Betty. Where are you? Oh, hi, Betty. I'm at the Space Needle. Oh, I'll, I'll try back later then. Bring me a postcard. Okay, if the gift shop's open. Bye, Betty. Bye-bye. All right. This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. Onward and upward. Going. You're almost to the top. Alright, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Huh, I haven't seen you before. Rex, man, they got a small army up here. Good. You're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. Oh, pretty Cirque du Soleil. I don't think this is gonna cut it. Nothing bad ever came from getting new powers. Oh, this is going to be epic! See? That wasn't so bad. There. Isn't that better? Woo! That's a rush. It goes away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets. In the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the space needle, man! You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. 
You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just wanna let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. Symbol supposed to mean? Not sure. The banner man got away before the dupe reinforcements got here. Delson, I've been asking around about the escaped bioterrorists. Do you think I maybe need like a PR guy? What, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, people here are starting to call me the banner man, which A is unbelievably lame. Uh, maybe not the best idea you hanging around the Space Needle right now? Well, I mean, why not Smoke Tastic Man or, or hell, just the smoker? Look. I'll keep trying to get a lead on the escape bioterrorists. Why don't you see if you can disrupt other DUP operations around there until I get back to you? Yeah, who's this? Raymond Wolf, the reporter. Whoa, like the Raymond Wolf, the, the, the guy who cracked the military's real involvement with the Empire City catastrophe? Good, you've heard of me. That'll make this easier. I need your help. Get to Sundial Park and I'll tell you more about it. All right, man, I'm here. Uh, so what do you need? My editor has been captured by the DUP. He's being questioned as we speak. I'm still looking into where he's being held, but in the meantime, I need you to pick up my most recent story. The DUP are looking for it, and I don't want it falling into their hands. Sure, man. Uh, how, how do I find it? The markers of the drop site are a series of fish stickers I place to point the direction. Just follow the fish stickers. Cole's Gift, short-lived or just beginning, by Raymond Wolfe. It's common knowledge that when Cole McGrath died, he not only cured the plague that was sweeping the world, but took every conduit with him to his grave. What we didn't know was that this would be temporary. Within a year, rumors emerged of the return of the conduit gene. Some believe that the plague had survived and mutated, this time creating conduits rather than killing normals. Some believe that not all the conduits were actually killed, that a few remained and were somehow able to spread their abilities. I've personally looked into both of these urban legends and have yet to find proof of either of them, which is why I'm here in Seattle. I believe the DUP know more than they're letting on. Wow, that was informative. That's why I'm here. There's more to this story, and I think Augustine and the DUP have the key. I'm going to need your help to figure it out. I'll be in touch. Uh, thanks, or yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Delson, I 
I may have a lead on one of the bioterrorists who escaped from the bus crash. Fine, lay it on me. I'm still at the station. Not a great place to talk. Uh, I'll meet you at 4th and Vickers. High drama at the Pacific Science Center today as an unidentified man scaled Seattle's iconic Space Needle and attached an enormous banner to its spire. And all the meaning of the flag symbol and the identity of the banner man both remain mysteries. What is clear is that Seattle's bioterrorist population... Banner man. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bioterror? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. They just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous. Yeah. Listen, Delson, it, it's gonna be police officers at this crime scene, okay? Not DUPs. Now, I'm here to support you, but killing cops... I got it. I got it. I'll put my phasers on stun. Alright, please get back. This is a crime scene. Okay, I need it your way. I'm past your boys in blue. Thank you. Although, what's the use of having smoke powers if you're not gonna use them? Ah. There's my baby brother. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very... showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Reg, I got a convoy of dupes heading to the scene. Yeah, um, might want to steer clear of them? Huh. Doesn't sound like you went the steer clear route. Huh? Not my style. Right, chances are there's going to be a lot of DUP there. DUP with shoot to kill orders. Wow. Well, hate to interrupt this little pep talk, but you got any luck with that first victim on your face database thing? No, nothing. I must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. No, it's get the conduit! Jeez! And good luck with that.
Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau sick. Okay, just need... Let me guess, face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. The guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for a stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy sh Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Found our sniper going after him. Be careful. Wait, 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 wait. Don't impale me. I come in peace. It's okay. It's okay. I'm one of you. I mean, one of us. Slow down! I'm not gonna hurt you! Yeah, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I don't want that. Don't be greedy. Funny thing, man. I, just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Uh, must be his power source. Uh, head back to the sign. See what you can find. You should see what this guy can do, man. Like, lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one-two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Take it easy. We've got to find him again first. All right, I'm here. Any idea what I should be looking for? Just anything that might help with who our sniper is. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? <laughs> you should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What, what does that even mean? I, I don't know, it's just girled up, girl stuff, like, the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting, and it is definitely the best-smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. Look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. Okay, those definitely very likely belong to a woman. Like you know. Seriously? A serial killer who reached Jane Eyre? Oh, totally. Jane Eyre is like the female catcher in the rye. Okay, I can see how you might think those are women's shoes. Yeah, they're like size negative. I wonder who Brent is. I can't help you there. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm looking. I guess this counts as interesting. That's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, we'll get lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. 
I need the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. <sighs> sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying, what, the DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. All right, I'm at the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. Looks like a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just rough them up, scare them a little, and destroy their stash. There's some punk Nelson, I heard shots. D did you kill them? No, no, just I did my duty as a citizen and gave them a few moments to think long and hard about the choices they've made. Did you destroy the drugs? Yes, I destroyed the drugs. Can I please go into the alley now? Fred, you should see this man. Speedy gone crazy is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one, too. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. You really shouldn't leave lit candles unattended. You gotta admit, girl makes a mean vortex. And now we come to the highlight of the tour. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day, while she chowders down. And you know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. I think it's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. Yeah, hello? Delson, I've gotten a tip on the whereabouts of my editor. He's at the docks, about to be shipped out to a secret location. I can't express to you how important it is for us to get him before he's on that boat. Hey, don't even sweat it, man. I got this. You must really have been working on something serious to have the dupes coming after you. We were trying to get to the bottom of how the conduits came back. Haven't you ever wondered how you got your powers? Not really, no. I mean, one day I was just a badass, and then the next day I was a badass with powers. The reports my editor and I were getting was that the D hand in the mass spread of the conduit gene over the last five to six years. I believe that they somehow figured out what was making the conduits return, and they figured out how to harness or capture it and bend it to their will. Thus, all of the DUP-sanctioned conduits you see today. Uh, so basically make something you can't control and then try to control it. That sounds just like the DUP. Hey, I'll get your editor, man. Don't worry.
Wolf, what the hell was that? These guys totally ambushed me. No, Delson, the ambush was meant for me. You just happened to be the one who showed up. The DUP was trying to kill me. Well, I'll tell you, all they did was manage to piss me off. Let me know if you uncover anything else you need my help with. Hey, mister. Sign our petition to get drugs off the streets. Unless we stop this poison, more of our youth will turn out like Fetch Walker. Fetch Walker? Her body was corrupted by drugs, and the drugs yeah! turned her into a bioterrorist. We need your help to keep our streets clean of that kind of filth. Filth, huh? Hey, you're either fighting with us or against us. What's the name of that book? You know, the one that says, uh, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Radical. Wow, I'm impressed with your impulse control. Um, but maybe you should wait up by the neon sign, yeah? Might be less conspicuous that way. Besides, she'll probably head there to recharge. Yeah, plus there's probably less people I want to kick the crap out of up there. That too. It, it was the Bible. By the way, what I was quoting, it was, it was the Bible, if you, were, if you were wondering. I wasn't. Okay, just need a place to hide. Okay, this is good. Surveillance. Hobo style. Smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God! Ah, uh, not this again. Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Speed of light, baby. Just leave me alone! Run up walls? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. What I came to do! Come on! Come on! I am not going back to Curtin K!
you just gotta calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking just me wanna... back! I am not going back to Gordon K! Good news is, less juice for her. Bad news, I am not a night person. Oh, well, maybe stop trying to kill me, and we can let the beer signs live to see another day. I am not going back! I'm not weak anymore. Not anymore! That was awesome. Listen to me, I'm not with Augustine! You one of a goddamn robot! How many times? Wait, are there really robots? I just want some of your powers, that's all. Just leave me alone! Surprise me. Oh, I am so gonna use this! You can run, but you can't hide. Where the hell are you? Just leave me alone! No! Clever girl. As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me, that I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. 
Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise. Every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. And no brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Joseph. Joseph, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her. She won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. She stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! When it comes to conduits, it's my call. Not yours, not ours, mine. Oh, really? So Mr. Freewheeling Badass finally wants to take on some responsibility. And for what, huh? A bioterrorist with a body count? I love you, Reds. Don't make me break that handsome nose of yours. Bye. Hope she kills someone's father tomorrow. Or mother the day after that. You're the one that allowed that to happen. Calm down. Yeah. Let's stop. Yeah. All right, Reg, sorry. I... Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out? Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? You know I hate that! Look, you know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the streets. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same, you're different. Yes, I know, I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine. What do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relays. There. I sent it. For the tribe and you. Thank you. I'll let you know what I get. No, I don't want to know what you get. Goodbye, pouting Reggie. Hey, Fetch, you know those glowing boxes the dupes put up all over town? Yeah, I've seen them. I think they can track us with them. 
Well, I think I figured out a way to use them to, like, tap into more powers for me. I was gonna try it out on the new neon power you gave me. Gave you? And I thought maybe you'd like to tag along, you know, maybe talk me through the new stuff. I already bagged my dealer limit for the day, so why the hell not? And there's my sweet girl. Screw you. Okay, there's supposed to be one of those things at, uh, 2nd and Main. Yeah, I've seen it before. Meet you there. Hey, Fetch, it's over here. Yeah, I'm cool. Kind of which trackers and me don't get along. Well, wait till you see this. That doesn't seem like such a good idea. You're on your own, Dee. Hey, uh, you guys seen a girl, kind of short, purple hair? Oh, just winged him. You're welcome. Hey, I heard gunfire. I told you those things can track you. No, I think they were just on patrol. Well, I found another one. I left you signs to find it. See it? It's a neon marker. Uh, yeah, got it. Just follow those. Hey, Fetch. Just stumbled across a bit of your handiwork. Think maybe you want to dial it down a notch? Gotta feed the fury, dude. <laughs> or maybe you don't feed the fury. It'll starve to death and you become a people person. Like me. Or, or maybe you can bite me. Yeah, take that, you poison peddling garbage! It's what you deserve! Hey, Smokes, you want in on this? Yeah, yeah, you still need help? Don't need it, but I'll take it. You got this. I'll go find another one of those things. How'd you like killing those dealers? It's a fuzzy jolt, ain't it? You know, maybe we should tone it down with the dealers. You going soft on me, D? Hey, we have powers they don't. Means we have to be the better people, you know? Cut them a little slack now and then. Just think about it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just go get yourself some more powers. Hey, there it is. Go ahead and get your convulsion on. You first.
Fetch, I uh, see you started taking these dealers down alive. Can't help but think I had something to do with that. Yeah, all you egomaniacs think you're the reason for everything that happens in the world. No, I don't think I'm the reason for everything. I mean, just your highly visible change in behavior, that's all. That was, I heard it from here. You know, anytime you want to actually hang around for one of these things... I've been thinking about what you said before. About the drug dealers on the street. Oh, yeah? The way I see it, going after those ass gum dealers is just small time. But going up the food chain a little, finding the supplier, that'll change things. Well, I'd be glad to tag along next trip you make up the food chain. Just, I don't think I've ever actually changed anything before. Sure, it'll be a date with a death toll. I'll give you a call if anything comes up. Yeah, hello? Delson, I want you to meet a friend, but I need you to control your trigger finger. Who the hell's your friend? The DUP informant. So all of a sudden you trust them? But didn't they just try to kill you? Don't make the same mistake they make, Delson. Every group is made up of people, and this one person wants to help us. Fine, fine, I'll try and control myself. Good. He'll escort you to a secret DUP meeting. I have no idea what they're going to be discussing, but it must be big for them to meet like this. Feel free to express how you feel about them trying to blow you up. Help! I'm injured! Ooga booga, baby. I guess I'm supposed to follow you as Hey, wait up! <laughs> now I know your weakness.
by Augustine. While the inciting incident that supposedly claimed the lives of all the conduits was, in fact, a lie. It was not one created by the DUP. Conduits did live through Cole's gift, myself included. Instead, we used the comm to build, learn, and prepare. We got better at early detection and collection. Curtain case facilities were upgraded, and we built an army. The events here in Seattle will ensure the DUP will be funded for the foreseeable future. This will allow me to expand our facilities abroad. We have made excellent headway on establishing a permanent science facility in Australia. The work we've already done there using Dr. Sebastian Wolf's notes on the conduit is, well, awe-inspiring. Even to me. <laughs> Sebastian Wolf and you're Raymond Wolf? What are the odds? He was my brother. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm gonna talk to my contacts about getting to Australia. I'll be in touch, Delson. Thanks for your help. Delson, there's someone I want you to talk with. He's been a useful source for me and is a powerful force in the anti-DUP resistance movement. Hey, buddy. You don't know me. And that's likely for the best. I was there at the beginning. Well, anyway, I, I've got some advice for you, if you're willing to listen to an old hound dog like me. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Great, great. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure you've got a lot of questions about what's going on with your body. Your hormones are on fire, and you just want to explode. Whoa, man, what are you, what are you talking about? But you've got to keep in all that conduit juice. It's dangerous. You understand me? Now, when the time is right, you will find the right person to direct it towards. And that moment is going to be a turning point for you, my friend. It'll be like a big firework sandwich. And you just want to make sure that you are safe about biting into that firework sandwich. Because it's going to have fireworks in it. Could be bad. Do you follow me? No, not exactly. Great. Good talk. Good talk. You take care of yourself now, buddy. Yeah, who's this? Delson, they found me. I need your help. Now! things differently now. Let's go. 
following me? Delson, it's Zeke. I just heard. How can I help? Yeah, uh, he said I should give you his notes, so where should we meet? Great. Now I can get them out to the people who need them. As far as meeting up, <laughs> I don't take this the wrong way, but I kind of got this whole undercover thing going on right now. Being seen with you wouldn't be the best for my image, or lack of one, you know? I'll send you the location for a dead drop, and I'll take it from there. Alright, I dropped off all his notes. What are you gonna do with them? There's a group of us. We all met online. We've been chipping away at the DUP's armor. With any luck, Wolf's notes will show us a weak spot. Either way, don't be surprised if you start seeing all this stuff out on the interwebs. I'll be in touch. And hey, Cole would be proud. Uh, cool. Thanks. Talk to you later, Zeke. Looks like the haters are getting ready for their big parade. You in? Oh, I'm in. I'm a total hater. Looks like the Duke troops becoming honorary members of the Haters Club. Yeah. What's it they say? The friend of my enemy has bad taste in your friends? This makes it more convenient for us when they're together in one place like this. Well, he's bound to be at one of these little get-togethers. Let's just keep crashing until we find the right one. I like the way you think, Smokes. Race you to the next one. Yeah, that'll help. you here, but you can still take the first shot. Then we just keep crashing and bashing until we find him. I can dance all night. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I'm tired of wasting these little sign carriers. Where's the big bag? Maybe you'll be at the next one. You better be, or else I'll... I'll do what I was gonna do anyway. Well, until then, let's go take back a little more of the night. That wasn't nearly as fun. Sorry to leave you hanging there, Smokes. Hope you didn't get your ass kicked. Eh, didn't even notice you were gone. I got a lead on their leader. I'm at the west end of the Pioneer Tunnel, tracking him now. West end of the Pioneer Tunnel. All right, stay put, I'll meet you there. He's got a DUP escort and they're entering the tunnel now. I'm not gonna- Fetch? Fetch? Damn it. I wonder if she made it into the tunnel. West end of the Pioneer Tunnel. Oh yeah, this has got fetch written all over it. Excuse me, man on a mission here. I said excuse me. Pardon me, gotta meet a girl. Hang in there, Fetch. I'm coming. These guys are everywhere. Idiot girl just waited for help. Oh yeah, real subtle. Listen, there's about a million dupes right outside the tunnel in front of you. So walk out real slow and act scared. Yeah, this should be pretty easy for me to do. Thing is, they think they got you trapped, but ha! Ha! <laughs> hey. Boy, have you guys got the drop on me. <laughs> What's the plan? Uh, get him? Get him isn't a plan.
You get to live a few seconds longer than your friends. Should have picked a different career, fellas. The town's kind of pretty at night, yeah? The lights, the water. Oh, God. You're not going to turn into a girl on me now, are you? No. I mean, I mean, I won't if you won't. It's another girl. <laughs> uh, it had to be done. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, that's right. Keep coming. I'll take you all down. Hey, Smokes, you got this, right? I left the package over on Fifth and Wall I want to check on. Sure. You go check your package while I stay here and risk my life. Trust me, you're going to love it. All right, all done here. Good. Meet me at Fifth and Wall. This is gonna be epic. Hey, Delson. Fire up that camera. I got something for the viewers at home. All right. Please. Please don't hurt me. Hello, America. My name is Abigail Walker, but my friends and enemies call me Fetch. Two things you should know about me. One, I'm a Pisces. Two, I've never hurt an innocent person in my life. <laughs> and that's still true. You may think I'm a monster, but it's not my fault. People who preach hatred of conduits leave us no choice. So who's really to blame here? Maybe you. Whoa. <laughs> that was a nice touch at the end. It just came to me. Yeah? What about the part where I put a hole through the hater? Ooh, golden age of television. Oh, man. I got all this energy now. I gotta burn it off. I mean, there's plenty of activists you out there. You wanna hook up? Activists can wait. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, know, you wanna go someplace where you know, our bodies don't get riddled by ballista and foreplay? Oh. Foreplay's for the weak. <laughs> <laughs> overdo with the pillow talk. But we should overdo it. We should overdo everything. Just a matter of time before those goons take us out. So we gotta carpe the diem, take the bull by the scroat, go for the gold and forge it into matching nipple rings. I'm telling you, we gotta live fast, die young, and take as many dupes with us as we can. No, ma'am. I am coming out of this alive. So are you. Don't bet on him, Miss Sunshine. Paper? You don't make conduits out of anything these days. Wait!
fetched it? No. Yep, should probably get a picture of this. It's not fetch, but it's fetch like. Be that guy's wallet. Confirmation on a rebel ID. Bioterrorist confirmed. Engage. Paper dove. Charloff, where are you? I'm seeing photo time. Fetch has a copycat? Right behind you, little buddy.
Let's check you out. Anybody home? I was afraid of that. What, another dove? Hey, Delson. I got word of a ramped up DUP presence over in the Lantern District. I must think there's a conduit hiding there. Well, sounds like the place to be. Oh, hey, there's a bridge near here that'll get you there. Great. Now this is a conference call. Hi, Fetch. Hey, Abigail. Might be worth mentioning that that bridge was broken up like the 520 by the DUP. Hey, Powerless. They ain't built and wrecked a bridge yet that we conduits can't cross. Right, Dee? Hey, it might be worth a shot, Reg. Well, it sounds like you're in completely competent and trustworthy hands. You know, why don't you call me, if you get there? Man, how do you put up with that? He pays the bills. I'm heading for the bridge. Target sighted! Up there! Oh, bad move, man! This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> Automatic turrets! This is so cheating! That is a gap. Power is pretty useless right now, unless it's a launching pad. Oh, finally decided to stop hiding behind your toys, huh? Hey, fetch. 
just left a trail of bodies and bolts across this bridge. Fetch? Damn girls in their short attention spans. Oh well. Lantern District, here I come. Recognize me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away. You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. Well, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> The bigger they are, the smaller I feel. <sighs> Fully charged. I don't suppose I could convince you to take a dive. <laughs> So maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you, that's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends, yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Would you be useless to me back in your little hovel? How about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dawson. You disappoint me. No. Whoa! Go down. down. <laughs> okay. Ah, the Lantern District, where I was headed all along, just took the scenic route. Eight 
Jelson. Look, they found one of those vests the DUP suspects wear over by Hinghay Market. A guy it belonged to might still be there. There's lots of places to hide. Oh, thanks for the tip. So where'd you disappear to earlier, huh? Hey, well, maybe conduits don't have to go to the bathroom, but the rest of us do. How do you get all this information about what's going on? Look, in, in the Lantern District, the walls have ears and eyes. I just have friends in high places. Sounds like helpful friends. Well, I couldn't imagine better. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks, a place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Which of you are hiding there? Don't you Not a great start. Yeah, maybe you could teach them English. Great. Bilingual bullying. Nope. Whoops, my bad, didn't see you coming. Ooga booga. Huh. No? Okay. Hey, I'm not with the DUP, and I'm not a freak who goes around opening occupied porta potties. No, wait, I saw him first. These angels are quick. Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? I'll leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. Gotta have something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, Big Brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother. Get the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. You can have a job for a change. Whoa, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. There's one trapped on the crate! Let's go get him! You fellas mind if I tag along? I'll make you a deal! We take the... Easy, easy. Don't get any closer! No! No! No, 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 don't! Oh, nice catch, Wayne, man. How's it going, deputy? Whoever this angel maker is, he's pissing me off. They keep grabbing all the conduits and I can't keep up. Oh, 
Same old, same old. If the angels aren't bad enough, there's these gangs of surly dudes out hunting the Vestoids, too. Uh, those would be a current. An angry gang of bullies who like to cause trouble around the International District. You should stay clear of them. So far, so good. These guys are real scum of the earth types. Whoa, whoa, relax. I think it's time you called in the cop, brother. Listen, meet me by the porta potty in the Hinghe Market. Got a crazy idea. All right, I'll meet you by the porta. Listen, man, I don't know what. You can trust me. I'm a cop. You know, I've noticed you like to mention that a lot. What? What do you think? I mean, it's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. It's like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me. Uh, shoot near me. Near me. And we'll see what happens when one of the Angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the Angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah, knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right? Right. Well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay? Right. But look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, I'm gonna be a dick. Ah, fear me! I am a bioterrorist! Run away in fear, for I have powers! Horrible, ugly, deep-spirited superpowers! Oh, no. I'll never surrender! I am a bioterrorist! I eat children and... kittens! Please, uh, conduits don't really do that. Powers, world, bow to my grandeur. You don't have to bow, honest. Flee in terror, mortals! I could melt your faces with nothing more than my pinky. And cops went to bed. And we have lift off. Hey, hey, follow my phone and don't be a dick! Hey, uh, maybe a little slower? It's my first time with an angel, you know. Wow, you angels really have soft hands. Any of the other uh, abductees tell you that? Listen, I, I just wanted to know if you know where you're going. I'm just saying we could probably stop and ask for directions. I wouldn't mind. Video Angels, I should have seen that coming. Woo, you don't like it when I shoot the screen? Yeah, that's right, keep coming, I'll take you all down! That's it, keep shooting the screen! I think it's really putting the hurt on him!
Stop being so fluttery and let me get a shot! Oh, I'm gonna burn in hell for this. Like cherubim. Let me go. I never like commercials anyway. Now, where did Reggie end up? Big brother, you make excellent live bait. Why, it worked, didn't it? Ugh. Found the angel conduit slayer, now we go take him out. Ugh. Come on, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. Then I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there, and that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away mad. <laughs> It was your plan. <sighs> what? Hey, Delson. Eugene, I wanted to thank you for your help. Found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit It doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really, don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. Hello, anybody home? See lots of vests, but no people wearing them. How did he do with them? <laughs> okay, not what I imagined from the outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, bigger than I'd hoped. I am oh, he man. who dwells, and you have invaded my dominion. No one's invading your dominion, okay? I just want to share your powers. Damn it! You gotta get back in there! All the best in your basement. What are you doing with the people your angels grab? I offer my invited guests salvation, salvation, not suffering. I need your powers. You need to leave. It's not so easy when you don't have a minion to pick me up and fly me away, huh? Unless, of course, you can make the platforms fall.
what I thought. It's lava. Gotta stop doing that. Back in the penalty box. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. I grow tired of company. Your flying nursemaids can't protect you forever, pal. You're just delaying the inevitable. Lava Delson, now! Oh, damn it. That is definitely a safety hazard.
At school, I always tried to blend in. To fade into the background. To disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. At first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me but when I saw them rounding up more people who were different I knew what she was gonna do to them and I knew I knew we had to stop her It's starting to get old. Oh, it sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. Well, the important thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets. Whoa, whoa, bro, not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street yeah. against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look, fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on, you start calling you Augustine. <laughs> no, maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, be right outside, okay? Ellen, thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I already, already did. did. I know, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, Eugene, my brother, what do you say? You and me, a couple conduits, we hit the town. You teach me some of those video tricks. I teach you how to pick up girls. And we take our power to the people. Well, I'd like to find the Russians that were picking on the suspected conduits and, and kicking the shit out of them for a change. Dude, I want to party with you. It's a date then, yeah? All right. We will rise up, and we will teach them to accept us, even if it kills them. Time to check out the new arsenal. Not a great start. No, no, this isn't the deal. Getting a little scary. You are the people! Can you hear me? I need help. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Okay, little bro. I sent you a new core relay. Reggie, man, I need you. I... 
All of my powers are gone. I got nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? what? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's 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 too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. Not a good time, fellas. So messed up. One fight at a time. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all of my powers. I, I, I lost smoke. I lost neon. I never even got Justin, video. This is great. This is great news, man. What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were going to find a cure for you, and this is it. I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone. Delson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just quit while you're ahead for once? Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I Wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am going to get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rocks scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm going to have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I, I don't actually need you, I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is final. You... Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. Thanks, man. I know I'm gonna regret asking, but what's new? You might want to stand back. Ah, good thing I stood back. Well, maybe the next one will have, like, projectiles or, you know, some kind of bashing. I'll call and let you know. Oh, no, I'm coming with you. No, 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 you're not. I got this. Listen, uh, unless you're planning to open the next core relay with invisibility, you still need me. Besides, you don't know where it is. I guess if you got stuck with only one power, invisibility isn't so bad. <laughs> no kidding, right? I've been planning what I would do if I could turn invisible since I hit puberty. And this conversation is now over. There it is. Okay, Reg. Why don't you go ahead and cop it open? Yeah, well, I hope so, because we got a ton of DUP heading our way. See? How cool is this? Delson? Hey, I said get behind cover! Oh, yeah, I think it, and I create it. Never saw me coming.
Reggie, you all right? Yeah, fine. Let's just get to the next core relay. Sorry, it's getting too dangerous for you to keep tagging along, little buddy. Okie dokie. Next core relay is where? Hey, remember me? The guy who knows where the next core relay is? Yeah, gonna have to put you on hold. Eugene, it's Delson. Listen, you're uh, flying friends. They've probably done some aerial recon around here, right? Yeah. Good. Then I need you to help me find something. You know those glowing boxes the dupes put up around town? Uh, sure. Hold on. Hey, there's one not far from you. Thanks. Oh, hey, uh, I've seen a couple of those suspected bioterrorists still getting harassed on the streets. What do you say? I got this new sword. We could help them out. How cool is that sword, right? I know, right? So, you interested? No, that, that's okay. I've got level 11 angels waiting for me in the Valley of Death. Oh, then by all means, you must go to them. Oh, shit! Good well, as long as I'm here, might as well tap that. Well, darn. Eugene, I know you'd rather be alone with your demons, but I just got ambushed by dupe snipers. You're gonna have to pitch in here, bud. Uh, that's okay. I'm good. But I'll send some angels. Oh, now I can run and hide. Let's see what's next. Okay, no, listen, man, she is way out of your league, okay? I mean, you gotta learn to crawl before you can hop aboard the... Oh, nice to have a few wingmen this time around. Well, let's see, I can disappear, stab, and run. <laughs> Not exactly a great anti-aircraft strategy. Going. This is the fun part! Sweet! Not to sound ungrateful, but you think maybe next time you could send less cowardly demons? I thought you just wanted them to warn you. Dude, you can't just half-ass this. We conduits have got to take care of our own. Okay, next time, I promise. I found another one. Good, it's not too far from here, thanks. Uh, 
Hey, Delson. Look, there's a bunch of dupes headed for the same place you are. But don't worry, you'll have some help when you get there. Hey, nice to hear you got your boys to sack up this time. You tell them to bring whatever they got, because I'm going to need help here. How is that bad news? There's a bunch of EVP in that area. But maybe you've already got enough power. But why take the risk when we don't even know what you'll get? Hey, 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 don't you gene out on me, okay? We set our minds to it. There's nothing a couple of young stud conduits and a buttload of angels and demons can't accomplish. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about stud. Stop. Call you when I get there. Okay, Eugene, here's the plan. I'm gonna sneak around to the side. Yeah okay, plan B. Come on, Eugene, you can do better than this, you conduit stud, you. All right, fellas, let's win one for the gamer. That should do the job. Comes heaven, hell, and Delson. Oh man, Eugene, you've been holding out on me. Uh, you know, just something to think about. Heaven, hell, Delson, and Eugene. No, no, no. You want the billing? You got to get out of here and get your hands dirty. I, I don't know. I'm not very good with people. Shut up. You're great with people. Didn't you hear the guy you just saved shouting, "Eugene is the best"? How did he know my name? Psh, hell if I know, man. Maybe you ask the next one in person. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to help out a few more people. Atta boy! You just let me know when you're ready. Reg, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, man. I... First of all, I'm glad to hear you're still alive. And second of all... But wait till you see what I can do, man. I've got swords and I've got missiles and demons swooping down from the sky. Yeah, sounds dangerous and stupid. And I guess maybe a little bit cool. Thank you! I can just hardly wait to use this on Augustine. Gene, open up, it's me! Hey, Delson! What, you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. If we're going to take this place back from the occurrence, we need to show them who's really in control here. Says the guy hiding in the bushes. Look, there's a group of them hanging around a construction site around here. All right, we start with them. Why not just send your demons? Take them out in a big, loud, demonic way. Well, unless they're out in the open, my friends can't get to them. You know, wingspan. Clearance? Okay, I got it, I got it. So my job is to flush the currents out into the open where your demons will have a clean shot. It's like a, like a bird dog, only with people. No, 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 look, you should kill as many as you can. My friends love working with new people.
Okay, I'm here. Okay, now chase a few of them up onto the roof where I can help you take care of them. Get ready, bro. Wait for you on the roof. Let me take this one off your hands. Thanks for the help. You guys do realize this is a... All right, I think that's all of them. Oh, man, I wish I could have been there to see the looks on their faces when my friend showed up. What's stopping you? Oh, that's right, nothing. Hey, hey, Delson, look, there's something big going on. I just picked up a signal. What kind of signal? Eugene, you there? Uh, yeah, 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 sorry. It sounds like some occurrence are talking to... Uh, I don't know, maybe the DUP? Look, use that signal app I sent you back earlier to listen in. See what you think. Yes, we have sufficient men to hold off these attacks, but for how long, I cannot say. Soon we will require assistance in the fighting to hold our position. We have done as you asked, but it is no longer just the one. These bioterrorists are allying themselves. Just to face the one was difficult enough, but now they are a legion. The attack from the ground and the sky with smoke and light and something I do not know what. We had your assurance that in time of need we could call on you. At this moment, we are calling on you for your assistance. You should use the signal to find them. We can't stop until the job is done. Now listen to you. I'll take no prisoners. Evil must be punished. Brother, you are preaching to the choir. E.G., as long as we're heading the same direction, uh, let me say one of your friends gives me a lift. Divine beings are not a taxi service, Delson. Whoa, whoa, Eugene, looks like the dupes are joining in. Perfect. Only moments ago, the bioterrorist army located and lashed out at us yet again. I do not use the term army lightly. Twice now it is that they have overwhelmed us with both strength and numbers. Does the Department of Unified Protection not have honor? Why are you so slow to honor the agreements you have made with us? We were made to believe you would live up to your promise, and yet Stand by while we are so viciously attacked. We believed we had allied ourselves with an honorable party. But I am beginning to question that assumption.
think I'm getting close, Eugene. Your friend's gonna be there to lend a hand, or a talon, or whatever. We fight together, Delson. You know that. Until the last to cure an entity, Eugene's traitor falls. We have accepted you as allies. Comrades. We share a common enemy, yet you seem willing to sacrifice us to that enemy. I insist we meet to discuss this tragedy, this betrayal. I yet hold out hope that the Department of Unified Protection and the Akiran community can find common ground enough to overcome this threat to the existence of us both. We must re-pledge our oath of mutual support against these bioterrorists if we hope to see the scourge eradicated. Found him. Denny Park, the Currens and Dupes. I was hoping. Okay, Eugene. Just waiting for your friends. They should be there any second. They just had to pick up a few things. And now they'll drop them off. You know, for a guy afraid to show his face, you got a pretty twisted sense of humor. Oh, yeah. See, you shouldn't have messed with me and my demons. Delson, those are my demons. Hey, I'm closer. Got any more demons you can send my way? Uh, yeah, but it might take a while. Haven't got a while. Gonna use up all the ones I got in about two minutes. No, 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 this isn't supposed to happen! Don't flake on me now, man! I, I, I can't do this anymore! Eugene, stay with me! Eugene! Eugene, please tell me you did not just leave me at the altar! Gene, please tell me that's you. Now, prepare to feel the wrath of heaven's fire. You ain't felt nothing till you felt the wrath. <laughs> okay there, teen angel, soften them up for you. Hey, Eugene, when this is all over, you uh, think you can teach me how to do that? You are not worthy. Dude, you turn into a real ass when you're an angel. You know that? This town is ours, and we 
we shall show no mercy. Yeah, <laughs> what he said. It's funny how a little indiscriminate slaughter can make the whole world seem brighter, huh? Hey, I made the world a better place. Figure I deserve a victory lap. <laughs> so, where are your friends? I'm not gonna hurt you! Slow down! Someone likes doves.
might answer a few questions. Okay, I'll take that. Have we? Unexpected. Judge, you here? Surprise. Gotta be a clue in this. Okay. Delson, you near a TV? Ever since Eugene, yeah, I try to stay close. News reported an explosion at the tower, then immediately retracted. Try to find a good vantage point to scope things out. Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. It sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. You worry too much. Hey, Red, did I ever tell you how great the views are from up here? Eyes on the prize, brother. We'll sightsee later, yeah? There are scorch marks everywhere. Looks like my handiwork. Ah, so there's another smoke conduit. Shouldn't surprise you. There's not just one of each. Yeah, no, I guess I was just hoping for something new. Show me what you mean by handiwork. Wow. So this is what it looks like when you... I've avoided looking up close. Hey man, they do the same thing to me. Oh, wait. 
I hear another one. Situation team respond. Situation team respond. That DUP helmet. Still working? Wait, Reg, this conduit man, they're saying it's that guy, Hank. Well, I, I thought you said she killed him back in Salmon Bay. She did, or I thought she did. I mean, I saw her kill him. I mean, he's dead. I'm, I'm sure of it. Just keep looking. Okay, Reggie, I'm gonna admit it. I was wrong. You can keep that little early Christmas gift for you. Hey, Delson, you gotta call a girl when you decide to go on a rampage in downtown. Uh, that's not me. I got a great view of somebody smoking the hell out of Duke Choppers. Wait, you can see them? Where are you? On top of a building near 12th and Union. Why do you care about this guy? You already got smoke. Because I think this might be the guy who was on that transport with you, the one I got my powers from. You mean that big sweaty guy, Hank? Yes, and if he busted out of Augustine's tower, then maybe he can help me figure out a way to break in. Why don't you come with me and help? No, no, that guy is bad news. I think I'll just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks. Delson, just watch yourself. I don't trust the bald redneck. Sure, but I'm not exactly helpless, all right? Besides, he and I have got something in common. We've got no love for Augustine. Yeah. Good luck. Reg, I got eyes on him. He's on a rooftop downtown fighting off choppers. All right, but listen to me. Don't let the DUP catch him. All right, I got it. And don't let them kill him either. And don't you kill him. But don't let him get away. Jeez, man, it's a lot to remember. Reg, I'm on the roof. Hank? Uh, isn't. You lost him? No, I didn't lose. I'm just keeping my distance. On purpose? He can practically fly, man. Yeah, so can you. In three languages. Trying to get killed! Yeah. Reggie, I got him! If the cops here, I'm gone! Your turn with the chop! Damn it, Reg, you scared him off! Reg, I lost him. Yeah, well I didn't. Lantern district, King K Market. I don't want the switchboard's gone crazy. Reports of a bioterrorist. Hank, wait! I'm not gonna hurt you! I just need your... Oh, never mind. I already have that. I'm 
warning you, kid! Back the hell off! Make me! Would you slow down? I just want to talk! Got nothing to say to you! Hank, I need your help. I ain't gonna get it! Hank! Come on, man, I don't want to do this! Then stop! Hank? How, how the hell did you get this number? You listed. Sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but I uh, knew there was no talking to you until you calmed down. You calmed down? I swear, man, when I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, 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 wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? Cause so far, you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. I'm gonna take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great. Then we should... Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out and I'll call you back. Reggie, it's me. Delson, thank God. You disappeared on me. Sorry, look, I caught up with Hank. He wants to work with us to get to Augustine. What? No, I I'm not so sure that's a good idea, man. Come on, you know what, big brother? You worry too much. Yeah, maybe you just don't worry enough. Listen, be careful and watch your back. You worry too much? Not enough. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you was chasing me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just gonna say, you clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape our tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You gotta shut down. But it ain't gonna do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP forces standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen, we both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Well, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got him. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel him in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending him out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help him. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they... I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in the- Delson, I've been thinking, there have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg, we're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, uh... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. I don't trust him.
Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's Cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's, he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer your boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? It's because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it, too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, will you? Now listen, we get out there and start making noise, Augustine will come running. Come on, I know a way into the island we won't be seen. Can you explain what happened? I saw Augustine kill you back in... You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. I shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. Huh, funny. I said the same thing about you. Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw things. One more thing. They got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. You know about that. Sure would be nice to get a new power before stomping on Augustine. Let's go. Okay, here's the plan. We start cracking these support pillars, they feel the rumbling, and the guards come down to check it out. We'll take them out, and Augustine will come running. Gotta be fast. That's some pretty thick concrete. Gonna take both of us working together, but we should be able to give them a jolt. Right, let's give it a shot. Ha <laughs> ha, what'd I tell you? Sorry I didn't trust you, man. Damn straight! I cannot believe we're cracking these things. Save some for the dupes, kid! Messing with a prime, idiot!
I'm just getting started! Yeah, there ain't no stopping us, man. Gonna take all of us to stop Augustine! Take you to tangle with me! Ready for a new power? Uh, look, look how, how did you? Come on, she should be here any minute. Hurry over here and let's see what powers you get. What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch, I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. If my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? Uh, you could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now come on, get up. Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. This way, I'll cover you. Reg, she's still alive. She's gonna come back and I can't use any powers with this concrete crap on! What the hell happened? It's a trap, man. Hank let us out here so Augustine could kill us. I just don't understand why he would do that to us. Because he's a bad guy, and bad guys do bad things. You may have superpowers, but it wouldn't hurt you to still listen to your brother every once in a while. I gotta hurry. I can't fight Augustine like this. Hey, get up here! I'm trying! What the hell?! I got it! Sorry, I'm out of grenades. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. I'll flinch. Trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh huh. Well, as long as we are here, I guess we should save those two people. How are you gonna get us out of here? I'm gonna have to shoot you down. Oh crap! Look out! Stop! <laughs> Leave my brother alone, you bitch! Oh dear God! Reggie! Delson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, I can we do can't this. let can this, this stuff get to you two. Dude, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No!
tortured my people!
never hurt you! Told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch. Is Where is Hank? Where is he? left one breathing to answer the question. At least I know he's alive. Just gotta find him. Wait a minute, he called before. His number's gotta be in the incoming call log. Gotcha. What's going on? I'm here, you ain't! We're en route. Just had to set up your transport at the marina. What the hell is the DUP here for Hank? Pounding the hell out of something. It sounds like a freaking war. Shit. 
Jesus. Hank did this? Hank! You there? I'm not afraid of you, Hank. That I'm not the conduit you were expecting. power. Damn it. I'm gonna have to locate the signal again. What makes you think a bioterrorist scum like you can leave this city alive? We had a deal. No, you had a deal. With my boss, who's not here now. But the guys who are here enlisted to hunt down you bioterrorists, not help them escape after they sell out their own kind. Here somewhere. It does seem like the rooftops. Close. Guess I'll give this tracker one more shot. What do you know? Turns out I don't need your goddamn protection. You haven't made it out of the city yet. Yeah, well, I left a trail of you guys' carcasses from one end of the city to the other. Any DUP shows up at the marina, that line's just gonna continue right out into the water. He's heading to a marina, running out of dry land. Might say me and old Hank are about to meet up again. I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you. She promised she's just gonna talk. What, and you believed her? She got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. 
My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you! She had my daughter. Time to get what I came for, Augustine. It's time. Citizens of Seattle, it's time to take back our city from those who seek to destroy it. Fire terrorists have no place on our streets. They must be locked away, far from all decent and normal people. For the good of society. She better hurry before there's no decent, normal people left to protect from me. I can't stop until I get Augustine. People of Seattle, it has come to my attention that the bioterrorist Delson Rowe has begun another event. His past terrorist dreams have resulted in the deaths of hundreds of loyalty union guardians and our fellow Seattle Rights. Good people of Seattle, I implore you, do not allow Delson Rowe to continue his murderous, bloodthirsty rampage. Delson Rowe has already killed hundreds of us. Maybe a neighbor, maybe even a family member. Delson Rowe has killed countless numbers of my bravest men. DUP soldiers who gave their lives to save yours. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. Delson Rowe must be brought to justice. Whatever it takes. You want to save these people, Augustine? You want justice? Or you're going to have to stop me first. And, by the way... We gotta get to the tower. Okay, the Transformer's supposed to be on a roof across from the tower. This is it, Del. Once you shut the defenses down, there's no turning back. So what's the plan, Conduit? You're gonna take her alive, show the world what she's done, or just kill her for what she did to Reggie? <laughs> Bitch is gonna die. Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. They're everywhere! That's a setback. Hey, Dean. Saw a trail of bodies over in Pioneer. Thought of you and followed him. 
Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown dragout? Wouldn't miss it for the world. There you go. More smoke toys. Okay, that's bigger. That should come in handy. lifesaver. Hey, Fetch! This would be a good time for some backup! Ask and ye shall receive! Eugene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places! Talk, Eugene. Yo, D, come here. You gotta come see this. Another launch pad for you. Oh, uh -huh. you think that's gonna save you? Looks like it's time to pull out the new tricks. the whole roof's armor plate. Let me try the high beams on it. Uh, you sure you can cut through? Yeah, if you and Teen Angel there can keep the dupes off my ass. Fear not, I shall protect you. How's it coming, Fetch? Don't rush me, D. Yeah. I like being rushed. Almost there. Got it. All yours, Steve. You go inside and grab Augustine. Eugene and I will keep these guys off your back.
So, any trouble finding the place? I know all about what you did. Using Hank to set up the crash. Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters to scare the shit out of the city. Also, you could swoop in and be the hero. I did what I had to, to protect conduits. Protect? You hunt them down. You lock them up. And you train them to kill. I needed Abigail and Eugene to be monsters, because without monsters, the monster hunters go out of business. So that's what this is all about, huh? Job security? And you almost derailed the whole operation. Luckily, you turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. You hear them out there? They want your head. And once the world sees the head of the DUP, saving them from the biggest bioterrorist threat of the last seven years, your death will buy my DUP at least 20 more years of funding. I'm so glad we met when we did. Don't be. Oh. oh, no. Are you gonna kill me now? You're goddamn right I am. You want my power? You got it. Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together, we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K.
seven years, I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. If you turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who is the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. Oh, uh, Eugene! Could you some help! I can't do anything! I need a blast core! Oh. Okay, Delson. I'll see what I can find. Just hang on!
gonna need. that hurts. Augustine had come to Seattle with a plan to spread fear, panic, chaos, make herself out to be a hero. Her plan was soon shattered by monsters she had made. Fetch, Eugene, and me. For two weeks, Augustine had controlled Seattle. Now it was our turn. Who the hell was going to stop us? Oh, and the hundreds of conduits Augustine had locked away at Curtin K Station? I'm going to shake each and every one of their hands on their way out the door. So many different powers, all in one place. <laughs> I'll be the kid in the candy store. But first, I had a promise to take care of. Hey, Akomish Nation! Local heroes back home. That's my girl. Whoa, 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 slow down. What? Come back to save the day. 
The TV news showed everything. It showed everything. Okay, look, about I the... saw you kill dozens of innocent people. What did you want me to do? Okay, I wasn't gonna let anybody or anything stop me from getting back to you to, to save everybody. We're a comish. We take care of our own, right? Hey, hey, take it easy. You have disgraced our people. You have disgraced our ancestors. And you have disgraced the memory of your brother. You are a comish no longer. You, everybody else, will die without me. Or have you forgotten that? We haven't forgotten. And we will never forget. But...
You know what, buddy? You and I have been through a lot. But I gotta tell you, officially, we're done. Okay, this was cute at first. What have we here? Might answer a few questions. See? We're not all monsters. Spread the word. You forgot one! Finders keepers.
a break! Cute. to identify these bodies. This should tell me more. Might answer a few questions. It's the names of everyone who tested positive. Want it or not? You're Nelson Rowe. You can have the list. Just don't kill me. Deal. Mine now. Jeez, Swan would be a nice change of pace.
Someone likes doves. Oh, yeah. You're the king of the world! They're off to. Bring the boom. Show some 
All that power and she uses it for origami? Okay, she's obviously sending a message. Have we here? I knew you were smart, Delson. That you'd find a way. Are you intrigued? Do you 
wonder. Slow down! Paper Dove? When Augustine took me in, I was nothing but a scared little girl. She locked me away to keep me safe. But when I got to Seattle and saw the chaos you had wrought, nothing, no one could touch you. You were unstoppable. You were free. That was when I realized she was the weak one. You showed everyone that we're done being locked away. And if anyone should be hiding, it's them. I've learned so much from you, Delson. Now I know that nobody can give you freedom. You have to take it. Celia, I hate to think I had a hand in making you what you are, but if I ever find you, I will correct that mistake. <laughs>